really the team to take down. I feel like if you beat Navi here in your OG, you must feel like you're pretty comfortable making it out of the group. Not that it's a given, but you have to assume that's a good start. Perfecto taking down Valder. Straight up fight with the Glock, and Valder is ready for it as well. But, um, yeah, they're going to slow it down slightly behind it. They got the bomb over on that side. Bit and simple and boom, which are clearing out middle. They are trying at least. Alexi, incredible accuracy, but the jump up is nearly getting him killed simple's hunting him down and he's gonna find him that is so aggressive and now he's controlling the middle of the map oh they could do so much from here yeah there's so many options for navi but not if nico takes out both of the players in apartments that's a bomb down there's a minute left so there is still time to retrieve this for a bit he will be on a solo mission as simple maintains his position towards catwalk he gets the bomb retrieves it oh. so there is potential for Navi to reroute now, and OG are out of position for this, but that is a mega kill for Flames. That stops any potential to cut off rotations, which is exactly what Simple wanted to do, and it leaves Bit in a very tough 1v3. Oh, and he just his aim. I have seen some mechanical highlights from that guy that I have not seen from other players. Pit on Inferno especially, it yeah. can just absolutely obliterate teams in the blink of an eye. Just all headshots too, not just some some crazy spray. Speaking of headshots, what was that, what was that stat from uh, from Bit heading into it? Seventy percent headshot rating on on Mirage. That's unreasonable. That's unre That is actually unreasonable. And if you if you have a headshot percentage that high, you know, wouldn't the stats tell you that you should just buy a Deagle every single round? Yeah, it's just leading you down that path. Go yeah. for it. He's the only one that doesn't have one. Oh man, it's tragic. Wow. Well, maybe Navi know something about the stats that we don't in terms of the likely outcome. Montu has found himself in a bit of a corner right here, and he has to go for the wide swing. This does leave a lot of players able to fight him, and Perfecto is able to get the kill. That opens up middle just a bit for Navi. They can maneuver because of that. Nico wants to remedy the situation slightly on Catwalk now, but he's just going to hold. He's a bit of a crossfire with Alexi, and they'll maintain this. Yeah. Making sure that no one is jumping in the window to maybe steal the FAMAS that Mantu had. Kind of a good idea, I would say, to, to keep an eye on the mid situation. Oh, but inside of the smoke. Electronic ready to take down Lexi B. So uncomfortable. And Flames is alone inside of the A bomb site. Now he has the advantage of having the armor and the MP9 back here. But if they get up on the high ground and, and maybe fire down at him, it could get weird. They're walking in. They're going to be close to the bomb. They can't really fake it. They go straight for it, and he's going to... So we'll see what kind of play Navi run, because you run out of options pretty quickly when you have this low util. Boosted up into the ladder room is Nico. Otherwise, a pretty normal setup here for OG. Nothing out of the ordinary so far. Nine on Valda. He is very aggressive with it. And that should give them some more space to try and move towards the mid and the and the A-bomb side here. Are they, they going to find a way through? Flames will take down Bit and Boomich. With a great refrag coming through. And it's back into a 4-on-4, four four, though only really for a second there as Valder goes down. And again, he was pushed up really aggressively in those B-hallways. Now that he's down, what is that going to leave? Simply taking it down. It's Alexi now at the bomb side. This is just a, a long series of trades pretty much all throughout the map. Kind of hard to say who's going to come out on top of the end of it. Smoke is up and jumping through is Alexi. And that is just a little bit too bold. Yeah, leaves the flames in a very tough 1v2. He's making his way up right now. Electronic and simple going for the double face, but it. Yeah, it's just so much happening all across the map that you can't. You, at some point, you really lose track of who actually has the advantage in this moment and where, where are people even going down. Some of them through the smoke. I mean, I think Valder went down uh, through the smoke like that. He sees just the leg, and boom, he will be able to take down Flames. That's a nice kill to find. And now they're going to go for the bomb side. Valder on his own with a pistol. He's not going to be get much done. Alexi was much further behind, and Electronic found him. So this is a quick round in favor of Navi. They can equalize the score right away. Yeah, pretty much an all-in play for Navi, going for the the whole B play. You know, they threw a couple feelers out in a, in some directions, but Navi were always primed and ready to hit that B site. Now, Nico's able to get one, and if he's able to take this FAMAS moving forward, it'll likely be the only rifle that OG can work with. So it is imperative that 
he at least allows his team a single win condition into the upcoming round. I would, I would really like to see Mantu with the AWP have a bit more say. I really like Mantu's orbing. I think it's great fun, but we just haven't seen it in this series have a really big impact. A lot of trouble, and he has yet to find or recapture that form. So if there's any time that OG would need him, it would be now to take down a team like Na'Vi. Oh. But maybe he can get it done with the Deagle. A nice shot to kick things off here, and excellent repositioning. This could be huge for him. He takes down Electronic 2. Perfecto finally finds the trade, but OG are thankful for Montu's efforts. Yeah, job well done. Just the USP inside of the bomb side, though, unfortunately. Recovering the deal is going to be very tricky. Flames, though, he's thinking about it, but yeah, it's being well guarded up there by Perfecto. Everyone else, though, from the OG side is already at the bomb site. So Navi, even though they're a man down, they're walking into most of the USPs. And then that one for Mars on Nico. And like you said, his mechanics can be very powerful. So it'd be great if they could uh, get him to display some of that now. Oh. Bit, though. Good headshot. Perfecto is there as well. And they, they just all fall. Trying to trying to take some fights with the USPs. And now Nico is on his own. Still plenty of time. Smoke doesn't really mind about that. But he is gonna have a very hard time doing much of anything here. They have more grenades, and they're gonna flash their way around the corner. Take the fight. He gets one. And it's definitely going to be an important man in this round. Yeah, I want to see. I want to see him hit some good shots with that one. I know that he can. Flashed, I think, jumping down. Flames with the assist on that one. Alexi be in charge of the M4. That's a that's a valuable kill. They can play so much more defensively now if they want to. That they're four and five. That's helpful. Man, oh, that looked like it's dead on. That's exactly the oh. kind of shot you'd wanted to hit. Perfecto takes two in return. Boom! It's in the middle, and now a lot of trouble on the bomb site. Alexi and Valder are left. And Simple's just walking in and absolutely wrecking them. What happened to this round? They got to enjoy that lead from taking down Bit for three seconds, and then it was over. Just one missed shot for Montu. Just opens up the entire side as Perfecto is the one to get the headshot. And at that point, it just OG's entire setup is, is flawed. There, there's just gaps in it. There's cracks, weaknesses. Although Valde is looking for something here, he gets the kill onto Electronic. Now, Simple is holding the angle. Looking for the face. Oh, Simple misses the shot. Ball, he's looking for more. And Boomage performance there. Now we ahead 4-2 to two on the T side of Mirage with Perfecto leading the charge. The perforator, apparently, in... Uh, <laughs> yeah, he put a hole in the defense. He did. Yeah. Drilled his way through. Became porous after that. It was... Uh, all off of that single entry. And this this time around, OG are in a pretty interesting stance. They have a few players towards mid, but they aren't putting all their eggs in one basket. And that's always a pleasant sight to see. It's not just an all-in play that can be read. And what is that? A running shot from the P250 of Alexi? <laughs> <laughs> there have been some wild pistol shots in this series thus far. So that's par for the course. And now, Flames getting so much information, but the timing might not work in his favor. Perfecto's coming back to re-clear this area. And Flames, oh, he's checking it, but oh, he doesn't get the shot. But All right. he, he'll clean it up. It's <laughs> yeah. so scary when you miss those, but yes, he did. Simple coming back to help out. Four on four. They got a bit of a setup over in B, boosted up into the corner. That's always... Always interesting to see, but I don't think it's going to be played this time. Electronic is sort of already staring down into the A-bomb site. So it looks like OG are going to be out of position. I don't mind that they try and be aggressive and stack maybe a site and do it. Like, what else are you meant to do with the, with the pistols in this round? Oh, no. Cool. Action jumping out of the window. LXC. Oh, oh wow. Catching him. It's close. But, um, yeah. They're going to lose the round no matter what here. So now it's just a question of finding anything that they can. If they could find another kill, find a rifle. But Bit is very hard to kill. He played that. Yeah. Looks like Alexi is making his way towards Cat, though. Yeah, he is. Okay, Boomich is getting a lot of space right away. Oh, takes the fight with Nico, gets dinked early on. He still goes for the jump, though. <laughs> and the nade catches him. Once again, man advantage and flames. Chimes in with one, Montu as well. So much action across the map once again for Navi, but this time the chaos doesn't work in their favor. 
How many players in their brain when they've been hit that hard in the middle think, oh, that's my cue to jump into the window? <laughs> Boom, I mean, I'm impressed that he does it. I wonder what could have happened if, if he'd actually made it away from the nade. Good round. I mean, that for, from OG, this is an incredible luxury. They're down a couple of rounds here, but if you buy into the double orb and org, you get to pick up three AKs so far, and now you're one versus five against Perfecto. If you can keep all of these rifles alive, that would be amazing. Let's say maybe even don't go too hard at it here. You don't have any any cash really, so probably not worth it. Yeah, they're giving him some chances to to at least find a couple kills. The round is out of question, but. A frag or two can sorely damage the OG economy. You can see no player has more than $850 right now. Yeah. And and that's only because he found the kills. So, Perfecto, he's going to use every trick in the book to try to find something. But Montu by the double over. I feel like you always have that nervousness around instantly losing both of them. So when you can get around like that, you should, at least we have the breathing space. We can, we can get it done. Looks like it could be fast B if they get the opening. Oh, this might be the call. With the op posted on catwalk for Alexi and Montu all the way at A, if they're able to take down Valde, a tall order, but if they do, then that's two ops outside of a bomb site that have to retake it. This could be disastrous for OG. They're thinking about it now. Bit of noise in the middle for Boomich. Bit is there as well. He could be swiftly back at the B bomb site if they need him, or they could join up for catwalk. Boomich again. So aggressive, running right through, and he gets the opening, taking down Nico. This is a disaster. It pushes Alexi B back, and that's where all of the rifles of Navi are going to be showing up. This might just be on Valda to try and hold it down on his own. Flames is going to get that. Valda with a double kill. But finally, he does go down. Simple, able to shoot him practically for his fallen teammate, and Bit trying to hold on to it, looking for the shot by Mantu. Actually negotiating that so well and getting the wall bang shot on bit, leaving simple on his own. One versus two with about 35 seconds. And he's gonna go for it. He sees it coming and he takes down Alexi. One or versus two. And now Mantu has the other one stepping up to the plate. I don't envy anyone that has to go up against simple in this kind of a round. He's already got the double kill and Mantu is expecting for some kind of a push, but it's not happening. Simple, patiently waiting. And Mantu has a kit, but he's losing, and oh, Flick not connecting. He's going to have a chance to do it one more time. Now the smoke is inside of the bomb site. How do you find him? How do you find Simple inside of this? He jumps in, hoping the bomb is there, but it's not, and now creeping through. And it's really impressive. That, that is a, that's a huge clutch to win, and you can see that they now have to give up the double op. Couldn't run it once again, and that high upkeep cost is always one of the drawbacks. Shout out to Boomich for getting the kill on Nico in the ladder room because that really does open up and we put so much pressure on that BD defense. Oh, goes again. Yeah. He just wants to do it. He's not afraid to take those fights at all. Nico's going to be going down and this time straight through the smoke. Mantu, he's got to be shaking his head. Mantu has been presented some opportunities. It's not that he's out of position either. Uh, he has not had the best of luck with some of these engagements. And Navi will have complete control of the B site because of that. Have you noticed how much people are planting in this position now as opposed to the default just in the last three weeks? I really feel like it's changed a lot from the, it used to be that people should go straight for it, but obviously you're, you're more inclined to do it if you're controlling catwalk, but I just mm -hmm. I feel like it's happening way more. I have the stats on it. It's just anecdotal evidence, as the people like to say. It does feel like a lot of the mid-late round situations at B end up with a, a player at empty pillar for the CTs, and everybody fears that he's just going to swing on that. So yeah. if it's not properly cleared, then yeah, the plan for cat is in a way safer. So... It's, it's harder to expect a rotation, or it's it's less likely for a rotation to come from Cat as quick as some teams take it. So, Look at only in terms of at least positioning. Yeah, he's, he just seems to be there quicker than they are even expecting. Going to be fast outside of the B, oh, sorry, the A bomb site. Mantu and Flames are there on the A ramp. MP9 up close, M4 behind it. Creeping in, they do line up, and oh. Bit will take them both down. Double headshot, and that's the A bomb site gone. And they need to save these M4s. You need, I don't even know why Nico and Alvaldo would walk close here. Leave it alone. Although hiding on the map with this much time could also be kind of tricky. Wow, that's unfortunate. 
yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that is not a great round for OG. A uh, little push towards the A ramp extremity, and they are caught. Bit putting that one together for them. And now we've already got the contest on Evalde, but Boomich is really milking the clock on this one. He's waiting for his teammates. Yeah, why not? Any rifle is going to matter right now. And that actually, that looked like it was OG. Tr hoping, trying to get some information over on that A-Ramp, just not being able to. One of the M4s is gone. Nico has the other one quite far away from where Valda was. But just, I mean, that's even more disheartening. They actually made the call to try and take some of the control back and, and be the ones to initiate a fight. Oh, oh wow. Oh, they're nice. going to find a bit goes up to the ball. What a perfect flash, too. That's insane. Already, he's not going for the cat play this time. In fact, it's a quick A1. Oh, man. Oh, Flames is already so low. Yeah, that's nearly a kill. Bit hasn't even reloaded the rifle. He's pushed through, but then again, so is Flames. Now, everyone is in a weird position. Sneaking through on the other side, it's Flames. Just awareness enough to take down Bit. That's super important. Simple is going to be blown up. Right afterwards by Nico. Now it's a five on three. OG, they need this round. They need the next one after that, and they just need to keep going for a long time here. Boomich nearly with the kill through. That's very uncomfortable. Perfecto is going to be going down, and I don't know how Boomich is alive, to be honest. Finally, he's not. And it's electronic alone. One versus five. The bomb in the bomb site. They're ready and waiting. And, and so OG are able to, you know, put a really good round, but no. Matu, he is having a tough time in this game. He really is. Uh, I mean, in terms of kills, he's kind of keeping up with the rest of the team, but, but we're, we're not just looking for that, right? We, we actually want him to, to, to be the source of some of these entries and live. If he, if that's part of the power of having that AWP on the CT side. You sniper kill in the middle, run away, you stay alive, it's four and five. It's just, just something to build around on, and they're not getting too much out of that right now. Valda playing forward. Oh, near the B apps. That is, or inside of the B apps. Very bold with the AK 47. He's taking down Bit, but he can't really fall back. They're going to throw a grenade and try and go at him. He oh, takes more. What? The spray is there, and that's a triple kill to set it up. Very, very well done. And so this right back into a two on two. They can only celebrate that for a couple of seconds, though. Alexi, here's it coming. Boomich has gone down, and now it's another one versus two for Simple. He did it last time. He's trying to do it again, looking for Alexi and also kind of checking up behind him. Tricky stuff here. Simple though. World class, obviously, at exactly this kind of thing. Sneaking in close just immediately. And this time it is a no-scope. He takes down Alexi. Fakes the bomb. Sure that someone's there. The flick not connecting, but he did spot Nico and he's gonna be jumping up to find him. Oh! He really is the X Factor in some of these rounds. What do you even do? Nine to four. Nico obviously wanted to get close because he wants to be there for the bomb plant so he can lock him in behind the site. Like there's a, it's not that Nico is playing badly for, for getting up into connector, but wow. What can you even do? Round number 14. Coming right up. And Ma I mean, Valdez set up that round yes. for the win instantly. Yeah. He, he overperformed. Yeah. That, that was an incredible apartments hold. But when Simple's alive, it just, it's serious. There's seriously anything is possible. Boomich also, though, had a great position in the middle of that round. He's just been so sneaky this game. Even though, you know, his KD is not great, he is taking so much space away from OG and he's delivering a lot of information. And on top of that, good calls to make these rounds very possible for Navi. And once again, he's inserted himself into connector. This is again just such oppressive positioning. And Flames goes looking and he gets caught. But Valde again delivers two kills for him. And he gets the dink onto electronic. This is a great round for Valde, but Navi still have the position to convert this. It's simple. He's just bringing it back every single time. He drops two of them with the AWP. They pick up the bomb back up. And Nico is on his own out here. Well, was. But even if he'd got that kill on bit, he probably would have been traded by Electronic. They had him essentially triangled into that A-bomb site, and he could never escape. Mantu, I don't know. They don't. They can't rebuy the AWP. As much as you'd want to be a hero here, it's not worth it. This, this absolutely has to be a save, especially with the fact that he has no kit. There's just simply not enough time to deal with and dispatch all of these players. That, that round looked 
so promising for OG. And once again, Navi, they're just their positioning in those moments is just it's so strong that even if you get one, it's trade upon trade, and they overwhelm you so quickly. We see the red X's on the map that almost every interaction happened at the top of connector, but those blue X's, th those deaths were from people in other positions too. There was so yep. much pressure on that one spot. Some utility to work with. And looks like they will be going for a heavy mid early on. They just want this flat out control. They want to stop Boomich because Boomich has been just running amok in mid. He has been unstoppable. This guy is just constantly all over the map and he's unlocking it from mid. So OG, they strip that away from him. They take away his options in this round. Yeah, and this is a bit slower than maybe even Boomich would like. He's been very quick to try and find kills. Normally at this point in the round, he's already got at least one and it's just fighting in the middle. But this time, yeah, it's way slower. How long could they keep this setup in the middle? You you can keep it indefinitely if, yeah. Uh, yeah. Long as you want. With this many people here, you, you could, but obviously the risk is that a bomb site is overrun and you're just out of position for a retake. So they go forward, and Valde now takes the duel against Boomich. That has been the thorn in OG side every single round. And now that they've stopped that, they go for the underpass peak, but no bit gets the better of Alexi B. Now, this is still, this is so tough for OG to deal with now. Yes. He's creating so much pressure at middle, and Flames, he says he doesn't want anything to do with it, and no bit once again gets another kill, leaving Montu on the site by himself. The players are overwhelming Montu at this point. There is a flank in Palace, but will it be in time? No, it's not. Yeah, already Montu's gone down simple. They shouldn't be expecting this. There's no way they could know Valda. He's looking for more than one. He's going to get the spray. Oh, but he transfers oh. too soon. And he goes down. Electronic left alive with almost no health at all. And the Famasi. You're going to have to mix things up because Navi are hot right now. There is no obvious weakness. And Valde, he's had some amazing rounds for OG. Yeah. Just flat out. He has played exceptionally well. And he is going to be important in this round, but the main hit, it's towards this B site, and Bit and Perfecto are handling it quite well. Perfecto with three already in the round. It's just Alexi B, the bomb's on the balcony, the swing comes out. They don't even want to give him room to breathe. No, and the bomb is committed to that. They had four people in this B bomb site by the time that they actually made this hit, you know, even start. And that's very reminiscent of what we saw on Overpass, where Navi had these stacks, they called the rotations pretty early, and they were just ready to receive OG, no matter what happened in that uh, first half on their CT side. Really, really rough recall to, uh, to that first map here. Alexi, hoping for a mistake. Anyone to show their head? He's got a little bit of health. If he can get the first kill and make it a one-on-two, maybe he could do something. But they're giving him just nothing to work with. They're not, like, nothing for free. He needs that bomb, and he's so confused. Where exactly are they? And that actually benefits from that setup. No. The balcony guy is generally the, the point of emphasis on that defense. But, oh, okay. Fast rush here. Perfecto with the nade doesn't do too much damage, but can he clean up with the ump? No, Nico takes him down. There's a lot of dinks coming his way, too. But the cavalry has arrived, and Electronic is here to save the day. That nade landed right in between three of them as Nico was taking the fight. Uh, uh, Nico. Complexity. That is a, that's a fun one. That is one that you will want to stick around for. Yes. A B. Lawn doesn't screw any covering that one. I see them out of the green room ready, doing push-ups, getting excited. Oh, strong, strong men over there. That's uh, I don't know if they actually. Are. I just made that up. But. Ugh. Okay. But it sounded believable, didn't it? So I don't know something that could have happened. I believe it. <laughs> Simple and Boomich are, uh... What do you think about this setup? I feel like if you don't get the immediate kills when you're this close to the apartments, you're probably not going to be around for long. You have to really hold it back or, or they're going to run you over. I believe in it. When Simple's on the balcony, uh, that's just good for two two kills at least. Two kills minimum, so... You're guaranteeing that? Yes, yeah, I, yeah I'll guarantee it. All right. Yeah. Unless Boomich lets him down. There's no unless in a guarantee. <laughs> no, that's not how it works. So. He'll right. get to. He'll get to. Well, we'll see. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Uh, Setup is broken. Boomich falls as well. And that's I, it. I that's want my it. money back. That's it. OG are uh, all over the site. 
And they have uh, broken the Maui Snake promise. Yeah, they have. Simples let it down. Well, that's actually really well done, though, by, by OG. Very, very late in the day to try and put together a comeback. Just, I mean, I know it's, it's so repetitive, but it, it's got to be that one round at a time type mentality. Do you find when you're playing that that's something that you can... You can you can do can you put the score out of your brain for a second and just think all right that was one round next one to even have a remote possibility of pulling off a comeback you just simply have to you you gotta you do have to look at it one round at a time and i think of something that helps with that once immediately yeah mm -hmm. all it's, right it's just simply not possible well there's something for everyone at home to practice next time you're in this kind of scenario small objectives don't look too far ahead they have some advantage here. Just the economy for Navi is not looking that great right now. That'll definitely just give them less options to work with. We're not going to see as many grenades. That They don't have the AWP on simple. Sometimes, though, he doesn't really play the orb too much on Mirage Sheets, as I've noticed. I'm sure that he can, but I've just I've seen him stray away from it at times. Yeah. The, Navi runs such a... Ver oh, that, that is a timing right there. Flames should get the better of simple. Yeah, that is the absolute worst timing for Simple. The best for Flames, though, on the flip side. Perfecto thinking about the reaggress, but he's not favoring his chances there. He's being backed up into a corner. The A players have given some information that there's nothing going on at ramp, but this is looking like a collapse onto the B site. Lexi B has sorely outfished position for Perfecto. Yeah, he's just That's walked sad. up behind him. That is so rough. Nico... I mean, he was hoping for someone to walk out of the A bomb site, but they're down on the ramp. Weirdly. Did he hear the smoke? If he did, he could probably guess. They did smoke that off, so... He's turning the corner. He'll find another kill for free. Might even go looking for Bit, who's down there with a FAMAS of his own. Geek is there, and Nico. Yeah. Don't have too much to work with here. Scout on Perfecto. That will be a point of emphasis in this round. And OG, once again, going for... Some middle control. This has done them well. They, they've they been finding this space without taking casualties. It's It's been a good look for OG. And if they can unlock this part of the map as they have been, that is the roadmap to victory. It's going to feel a little, it's a little bit more believable if you can get to 13-7. To you can build that economy a little bit further on your own side. Kind of agree. Nothing... Adventurous for Navi. That's my only real complaint right now. Where are the where are the quad five man grenades? Where's the flash into middle? What's all the fun? I will say that the overpass defense looked a lot more inspired. If we really take it back in this series, yes. After D two, they calmed down a lot. Really went for a lot of standard stuff. Uh, sometimes just switching a player or maybe going for a double op. And it's still early days on the this half for Navi. So. They have yet to really reach into their playbook and, yeah. and show us anything. But so far, it, it hasn't been too crazy. But there are four players now on this A site. Did you know that where Electronic is standing, you can wall bang from the A ramp? No. You can. Oh. Oh, wait, this is a stack. Oh, yeah, it is a stack. They're walking into a bit of a huge crossfire. Perfecto with the headshot taking down Mantu. Not like this. Oh, gee. They wait a long time and they... Up. And they have a great buy. Interesting boost to try and get an advantage on anyone who might have been in there. I said simple sometimes doesn't open this map, but right now he certainly is. Are we going to see a run boost? Okay. I would consider that run boosting. I like that play normally, but against simple, mm. I would trust in simple to get that flick if he was there a lot of the time. It is a lot less effective against simple. Yeah, it just feels like those. He's he's made to get those kills. Mm-hmm. Flames walking the line in the middle. Very exposed right now. I'm, yeah, I was going to say, it makes me nervous that there's no smoke in the window. <laughs> Fair enough. Eventually, it'll be there. The bomb is outside of the B-bomb site. And Bit and Perfecto are holding it. Electronic could get there with some speed if he wants to escape the window. Flames. This is a very powerful... I can't believe they've got this far in. In fact, OG, how are they getting this much for free? Yeah, great utility 
to carve out some space here. This is looking like it's going to shape up to be a B hit, and there are only two players on that bomb site, and they even have some more nades to work with. Perfecto, he smokes them. Bit, does he even have a line here? No, Flames is on the flank. Now, Perfecto has to find a multi-kill. This has to be something, but no, Flames with the triple <laughs> entry. He's just killed everyone. Anyone there close to the bomb side died to Flames. That's incredible. Didn't see that coming, and... I don't know, I, I'm so confused because they must have known that that was the weak spot. They had given up the entire mid and catwalk, and it, they still seemed like no one was keeping an eye on it. They had no need to slow it down. And it's not like OG were being slow or quiet once they were on the bomb site, but they just didn't know. What a weird round. Yeah, that, that Navi defense violated some of what many would call would be CT principles. They, they didn't have info, they didn't have the nades, they didn't have the numbers, or they have the firepower. It was a, just a very passive round where Navi just wanted to... It's like he did a half crouch to slow his movement speed just enough. Or yeah. S yeah, that's, that's the only way you can be accurate enough. Oh my goodness. That was explosive. The only way that could have been cooler is if, if he had moonwalked past the door and just shot him. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening. That is actually outrageous. What an incredible sequence from Flames. That was inspired. We need a lot more out of that. A lot more. 14 to 7, the scoreline. 22nd round. Bit is on his own. Very much on his own. Electronic and Boomich are both liable to be smoked out, so probably Bit will have to do most of the work without any real backup here. He's got a Deagle, and he's got a kill on Nico. Oh, and a counter smoke, actually, to buy some time for him. Boomich is down and out. Nade will... Well, both the Nade and the AK shot there will find Bit. It's going to be a three on four with a pretty pretty swift attempt at a bomb there. They do slow it down, Alexi. Hoping, he's praying that someone's going to come through and give their life. They don't want to mess up this round, OG. They're being so careful. Oh, it's so close. If anybody knows, it's simple. If anybody knows the spread of the molly. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Fair play. Stays alive, but the bomb has been planted finally. And Alexi B has made it off the site. It felt like OG might run out the smokes a little bit too much there, but was not the case. They had another. Alexi B takes down simple. That's going to stop any potential retake, and OG will find a fourth round. Yeah, they're starting to pick it up. Doing pretty good in the second half, all things considered. If they can keep the money on their side, and, and if Flames can keep coming alive the way that he is right now, what a difference that would be. Perfecto and Electronic. Just scouring away from this. Not looking to take any fights at the moment. 14 to 8. To think that that's, that's a, a much more doable scoreline in a way. Yeah. So here we go. Deagles and a Famas in play. The Deagles can't really see anything through that smoke in the window. Flames, he is very aggressive. He's playing the, this the way that Boomage was. Down in the underpass. Perfecto. Nearly dropping Mantu. It's actually a lot of uh, a lot of pressure applied, and they're gonna go for it right into simple flames. Though he's in a particular kind of mood today, wow. he'll find a third kill once again. Triple entry into the B bomb site. What a player! Flames has been an incredible entry in this yeah. series. He, he has looked really sharp. Anytime he's on these routes, even if a player somehow has the better of him, he just f spins around, flicks to their face, and it's over. He has been finding so much success. Oh, but Boomich is here. He can stop the plant. Can he find more, though? Valde knows his position. Montu's not coming to help just yet. And Boomich is getting an opportunity to maneuver around the pillar. Now Perfecto chimes in. No way. OG, you can't, you can't lose like this. No! That is definitely illegal. Mantu is down and out. He can't find any luck at all. And just like that, 2 on 4 into a 1 versus 2. Alexi, he's not been tagged yet. He's got 35 seconds. He's not sure where they are exactly. He's finding the second. I don't even know what I'm watching anymore. I just, the, the Flames must be just a bit frustrated. He's done everything right. And now Simple is playing some kind of a crazy game. Yeah, he's been spotted. Ooh. Yeah, that, that angle is, is very vulnerable to any kind of underpass play. That is, I, yeah. I am surprised Simple stuck around the way he did there. It kind of looked like almost like he wanted to try and escape, but couldn't really find a way either. Strange. I, can't, I still can't, can't get over that last round. I have no idea what's happening. Alexi is 
looking into the bee hallways, thinking about it. Bombers in top mid. Giving Navi some space, perhaps, to make a mistake. Yeah, Navi, though, they're looking for a, a team reaggress towards middle. This is a nice late round play, but it it goes their way. That That is why it's a good play. That They peeked from every direction at once and just found all the kills at middle. But Alexi B is still here, but he doesn't expect Perfecto. Now Perfecto is able to stop his push, and now OG reroute. Oh, Boomich is already here all day. Had to win that fight. The bomb is now down in the underpass. Nico has to retrieve it in this 1v2. He may get the better of Boomich here. Oh, the timing works against him, and Boomich has spotted him out. Oh, this is looking so bad. The smoke whips, but he hits the headshot anyways. But behind him.